Welcome, uh, pleased to be joining you here as part of our Conquer Every Cloud event. And today we're joined by our good friends from Microsoft who better to talk about the cloud when it comes to our next gen solutions uh, powered by Microsoft Azure. Welcome out. Well, thanks for having me. Good, so uh, maybe you can tell a little bit about your, your role at Microsoft. So at Microsoft, I lead Azure Infrastructure Solutions. So I'm responsible for driving Azure compute, network storage, and all of our specialized workloads all across the globe and making our customers happy with it. Awesome, awesome. Well, we're certainly looking to make our customers happy when it comes to data management. Uh, and obviously we're going to talk about today our solutions by Veritas powered on Azure. Uh, and maybe we could just uh, talk a little bit about the partnership, right? So, so yeah. why does Microsoft see Veritas as a great partner to go to market with around the cloud? You know, when you think about Microsoft and Veritas, and you think about our history together solving problems for our enterprise customers, I mean, what two better companies you know, do you combine the data management, compliance, and security of the data with the best place to put it and run it and operate it? So, I mean, both of us together, I think it's a, it's a great partnership that we can both build on and, and solve tons of problems. Absolutely, and I think to your point around solving problems, the, the thing I love and we're going to talk about, just a few of our solutions we built together with Microsoft and particularly the ones that are really next-gen focused for solving those key problems around the cloud, you know, it's not just, as you said, that partnership and going to market, right. working with our customers and partners. We have a very long background in building these solutions together. And what, what we really want to show you today is talk about how we built those solutions, particularly powered by Azure, uh, as we look for moving forwards and helping solve customers' problems. And you know, one area I wanted to highlight particularly was around the partnership around Microsoft 365. Yeah. Obviously, that's a big solution for Microsoft out there in the marketplace Absolutely. today, right? Absolutely. When you think about Microsoft, and people say, well, Azure 365, I want you to think about it all as the, the Microsoft cloud mm -hmm. and bringing it all together. And 365 is a huge component for us. And by the way, everything does run on Azure. We really, truly operate with what we got. Absolutely, yeah. So I, I think the great news is we're obviously helping you go to market around Microsoft 365, bringing great capabilities like discovery and search, data protection, Date, ransomware protection, immutability yep. to all of those solutions and helping drive that go to market together. Yep, it's awesome. Awesome, that's great. Well, again, you know, perhaps for the audience, you know, we wanted to tee up, we're going to talk today a lot about the solutions we're bringing to market, um, but in particular, we kind of wanted to tee up some of the challenges. So, I, Al, why don't you kind of give the audience yeah. a bit of a summary of what we're seeing out you there? Know, I, so what are we saying? I mean, I, if you've watched the news in the US, you've seen over the past, I don't know, six, seven weeks, they're termed, we've had like five or six 1,000 year storms mm -hmm. all happen in the last five, six right. weeks. And when you look through our world and what all of us are making decisions about and dealing with, and I say all of us, you know, Veritas, Microsoft, all, all of you out there, you think about all the challenges. So ransomware, it's becoming mainstream. It's a revenue generator for all these organizations that just happen to be criminal organizations and maybe even some nation states, right? right? Natural disasters. I mean, thousand year storms happening on a weekly basis. You know, data corruption, deletion, you know, and compliance and regulation starting to increase, especially as governments are focusing on trying to bring data home mm -hmm. um, within their own bounds. So all these problems that we used to think about and look at and weigh in our risk models. Mm -hmm. We can make decisions, uh, do we really focus on that or not? Because what's, what's the risk of a flood happening here? Right. Um, I think all those we all have to reconsider. And we have to think, look at the tools that help us support and deal with these problems should they arise. And it, I think it's less of an option now than it used to be. And it almost has never been an option. Right? Absolutely, I think that's the great point. I think I, I think for the audience, again, you know, one of the things, a lot of these, uh, these problems that we talk about are very much ones that were in problems in the past as you think about legacy on-premise infrastructure and have moved to the cloud. And that's where we view, look, we've got 20, 30 plus years history in dealing with those, those exactly. types of problems for customers on-prem, virtualized, and now in the cloud. And that's exactly where we're going to talk about yeah. how we brought our solutions to now the cloud in partnership with Microsoft and Azure. So again, today we're going to focus in on just a few of our solutions, in particular around what we call Recovery Vault. So it's all about providing long-term storage, ransomware protection, and mutability. 
We're going to talk about Enterprise Vault Cloud. Al talked perfectly to the risks around data management, uh, and in particular from a compliance, data sovereignty, data privacy perspective. And then in particular, as we look at customers embracing you out there, embracing new SaaS applications like Microsoft 365, there's gaps in protection that need to be provided, and that's exactly what we're doing around NetBackup SaaS protection. So I'm looking forward to diving into those with you, Let's but more it. importantly, it's all powered by Azure. So why Azure, Al? Yeah, so look, as I said, that's what we run our business on. That Microsoft cloud that has driven, that drives the productivity for most of our customers out there. I mean, that's what we build on. Uh, we're enterprise ready, you know? And you know, when you look at our compliance offerings, you look at the experience of, and breadth of the customers that we're dealing with, um, and you've touched on it a number of times, but we can't underemphasize the security Mm -hmm. of Azure. I, you know, I, I, the, the security leader, my peer who drives security, keeps talking about it. He's like, man, people don't really realize that we are the biggest security company in the market, right. period. And we're just talking about a thousand dollars, you know, not a thousand, a billion dollars in investment <laughs> a year. And that's just the investment. But a lot of companies rely on us for security and we drive all of that on Azure. And when we're looking at enterprise ready solutions, we, we believe there's no better place for you to bet your business on, because that's what you're doing when you're giving somebody the accountability and responsibility to support, manage your data, and operate it. Well, I, I love that. I mean, obviously a perfect, given our history of Veritas, mm -hmm. you know, we're protecting the Fortune 100 in terms of our major focus around our customer base, mm -hmm. 30 plus years protecting the biggest enterprises out there. Yep. And again, that move from on-premise to virtualization now to the cloud, yeah. a perfect time to be doubling down on our partnership with the strategic announcements we're doing. So, so we hopefully teed up for you a lot around um, why the partnership, why we're focused on really building our solutions on Azure moving forwards. What I wanted to deep dive into now is really getting into, so what are our solutions? What are we really trying to solve for you out there as our customers and working with our partners to serve our customers out there? And in particular, you know, there's three areas that really tie back to the themes that Al and I have discussed, right? Around one, helping eliminate, eliminate sorry, that uncertainty. So being able to ensure that you've got visibility to the data, making sure that you can detect risks in your organization, and ultimately tying back to the cybersecurity themes, mm -hmm. ransomware, really protecting that data from things like ransomware, malware, scanning, yeah. et cetera. Secondly, is really reducing risk. So how do we make sure we can protect the data for you, reduce the attack surfaces, making sure that you've got that data secured and immutable and hardened from attack in partnership again with the other Azure infrastructure and ensuring compliance moving forwards. And then finally, obviously it's about control of the data. It's the second most important asset to you and your organization next to your people. You've got to make sure that you've got it controlled. Absolutely, right? Making sure that you are able to automatically and flexibly recover data, making sure that data is truly available. And from a disaster recovery and cloud resiliency, you talked about all those natural events. We can harness that ability to go from simple user-driven recovery to full-scale disaster recovery from an organization. So again, happy, really happy to talk about some of our key solutions. First, we're going to look into that area of eliminating uncertainty with our Net Backup Recovery Vault. So Recovery Vault is a solution that we've recently launched with uh, Microsoft around Azure, uh, a great new solution that helps provide for on-premise data or cloud data the ability to immutably protect that data on the actual tenant itself, right? All powered by Azure, but run by our history and experience of running solutions like Enterprise Vault on, uh, dot cloud on Azure. We provide the ability to protect that data so that you can use it from a long-term retention or a mutability perspective. It's all cloud-driven, subscription-driven, so very flexible in terms of being able to do that. And also provides that air gap solution from a risk management perspective. So, so how do you see this fitting with some of your customer needs you see with Azure out there? That's critically. Look, business, uh, business continuity and disaster recovery and backups Right. you know, are the clear thing. Um, you know, so it's a couple stories. Well, just one big story. So in February, with the conflict in Ukraine arising, you know, our customers all over Europe and all over Ukraine, by the way, immediately went to protecting their data and their infrastructure. Because even with all the uncertainty that was going on, they still had to operate and make decisions and execute on their business. And, and they quickly tried to go move to the cloud to mm -hmm. go make that happen. And um, when we're thinking about these type of solutions, um, especially building on the install base that you have, 
being able to manage it, not just on-prem, but drive it into the cloud to increase your resiliency as a business. It's absolutely critical. Hey, but this guy's a perfect stream. I, I, did, I didn't know he was going to say the install base that we have, but I think that is the really important thing. We're talking about the technology of Recovery Vault, mm -hmm. but it builds directly into our net backup platform, right? Alongside yeah. of the 800 plus sources we can protect out there, the 1400 plus targets that we have, Recovery Vault builds directly into that. You can control it from within that back interface. All of the data that you're protecting today with net backup and building on with SaaS protection to Microsoft 365, Slack, et cetera, all of that can leverage Recovery Vault in providing that immutable, safe protection and that cloud copy of the data in terms of recovery. So I think that's that's a perfect segue yeah. in terms of looking at that power of the install base, the power of net backup, driven now with this great new solution powered by Azure. And, and, you know, we talk about it, it's not just about backing up the data, it's about recovering recovery, it when absolutely. you need it, right? Yeah. So uh, that that's a key thing that when you do the testing, that's a differentiator there. Well, I, again, we're, we're going to get to some of that power of recovery, but one thing I wanted to double click on, because Al made a great point around the threat, rising threat of ransomware. I mean, I personally say that ransomware is, is a business today, right? Yes. For the organizations that are trying to absolutely. perpetuate it. And they're absolutely, while they're attacking your primary infrastructure, they are absolutely trying to get to the backup data. Mm -hmm. right? And so along with what we've built into Recovery Vault, providing that immutable long-term safe storage of the data, we've also partnered that with anomaly detection and malware scanning built into NetBackup. So that allows us to be able to, one, during the backup processes, detect anomalies using automated AI to do that. And secondarily, that can be run spot checked onto the actual backup themselves or at recovery time, yeah. including the data in Recovery Vault itself. By the way, that, that's critical is how many times have you heard of a breach when the, when the forensics are done, they say, well, you know, this has been sitting on the network for the past six months, right? right? Having, a, having a tool that allows you to do clean sweeps to reduce the risk of damage should it happen, because at the end of the day, we all know this is going to happen. So what mm -hmm. are you going to do when it does? Absolutely. And and again, you know, we see this as the critical next battlefield, frankly, when it comes to data protection, is making sure that you've got a, you can have confidence in the data that you've protected is going to be that safety copy for you. And ultimately, you don't have to pay the ransom and perpetuate the business model, which leads perfectly to the last point I wanted to cover around Recovery Vault, which you already hit upon it, recovery, right? So recovery is why you do backup. It's not just doing it for the sake of it. Yes. Uh, and the great news is that recovery flexibility that is built into the heritage of net backup, whether it be from a granular file recovery, going from truly bare metal, bulk instant recovery, we built into that now with Recovery Vault, the cloud recovery capabilities. And we, again, with Recovery Vault, we can deduplicate the data, eliminate cost all the way from the front end, the front end data, all the way to the back end. With the cloud recovery, the great news is you don't have to rehydrate on the cloud to be able to get that cloud recovery. So you can go from dedupe data to dedupe data in the cloud and immediately roll that back in terms of your recovery, which makes it, that's a unique capability yeah. that we have as Veritas. You know, when you think about it, when people are making their decision in cloud and optimizing, a lot of, a lot of it is not just about the security, but it's about the cost. Right. And, uh, you know, the more storage you consume, the more you pay. So you want to optimize your usage. And when you're talking about deduplication and how you manage that data set, um, it'll help you optimize your spend in the cloud as well. Absolutely. Well, talking about optimizing spend when it comes to cloud, I wanted to move to another area of our portfolio around helping reduce risk in the cloud, and that's our enterprise vault cloud solution. So as we fondly call it, ev.cloud, uh, I know you had a lot of history together working oh, yeah. on the enterprise, va va enterprise vault space. Um, so this is our best of breed archiving and discovery platform, particularly now positioned towards protection of Office 365. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk a bit about in a minute on kind of M365's capabilities, but clearly what we're bringing to the table as Veritas is the ability to manage that discovery and compliance around data. Mm -hmm. Clearly Microsoft is providing a great tool for collaboration and sharing of information. But that information is privy to and, and, and uh, sensitive to compliance proceedings and potentially sharing commitments with customers that need to be journaled, et cetera. So again, we have the ability to, one, make sure you've got a compliant copy of that data that's completely searchable. We provide the tools to the discovery and legal specialist to be able to search against that data. And ultimately, again, all of that is provided by us running that service, again, powered by Azure, uh, but we're running that. So there's no administration cost for you in terms of driving that. 
So, so why don't we talk about kind of, you know, how do we partner here? What's the hand in glove, as I like to call it, around M365? So what do you see Microsoft bringing to the table with M365? Look, for us, it's about providing you the best productivity tools to get the most out of your workforce and out of your resources and your people. Um, and it's, it's critical. We're, for, we're designed for real-time productivity. It's about collaboration and communication. And for all of us who've been running companies virtually over the past two years, right? right? I mean, um, the power of your tools made all the difference um, in that. And that's what we're learning and continuing to provide and, and providing an infrastructure that makes it cost effective for you to do it. Yeah, I mean, that's congratulations on the growth of Teams. Over I, 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 I got to tell you, Teams has been... It's a lifesaver for me. That's, that's how I've been operating. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure many people joining us here, are, but uh, to the point around where we bring that hand in glove. By right? the way, even before I joined Microsoft, I bet my organization on Teams. And, uh, and uh, so when I joined Microsoft, I was ecstatic to see how to best use it. You heard it here. It's so good he joined the company, right? That's, that's, <laughs> so what I was going to say, you know, to your point, a lot of people running their business yeah. on Teams, right? They're making commitments to customers. They're making commitments in terms of yeah. how they work. All of those things are focused on being able to do that true journaling of the data, designed to archive, drive compliance. Those are the things that we bring in terms of the EV.cloud solution to help protect customers as they embrace further and further M365 from a productivity perspective. And, and again, it's built on the ability to transform that data and bring it into a long time archive managed cost, but also make that data visible to whoever wants to use that, be it from a uh, uh, an admin being able to drive searches or from a compliance and discovery perspective. Yeah, I think that's great. I think, you know, if I just take a step back in this conversation, um, one of the things that I've had a long time of experience with uh, Veritas products, um, and what I'm most excited about this collaboration that we have is taking these best of breed products like Enterprise Vault and providing a cloud-based infrastructure to give our customers that, that operating model right. and the ability to do that without losing the functionality, without losing the criticality of that. So that evolution of a business is absolutely critical. I, I can't be more excited that, that Veritas is, is driving that and making that available to the customer base and that you're doing it on Azure. Right, absolutely, and, and yeah, what, what we're doing in terms of bringing our unique skill sets around data management, as the example here, is making that data relevant and presentable in however the customer continues to want exactly. to use that data for, from a discovery and compliance. So the, the last thing I wanted to uh, highlight was, you know, yes, it's about how do we help protect, archive, discover on Microsoft 365, but as we see customers increasingly embrace the cloud, it's everything, right? Yeah. So the great news is we have taken our Merge One solution. It's very tightly integrated with EV.cloud. And if you don't know Merge One, it allows us to capture over 140 plus content sources out there across cloud and on-premise to bring that central search discovery compliance experience. Again, a critical element in terms of streamlining the experience, particularly for that compliance and discovery audience within our customer base and joint customer yeah. base, obviously, overall. The last area is obviously, as customers increasingly embrace the cloud, we've already talked about Microsoft 365. Mm -hmm. you know, they're increasingly moving, obviously, to leveraging SaaS. We already talked yeah. about the growth in Teams and Microsoft 365. And so there's a number of challenges they look at as they bring SaaS protection. I think, ultimately, as customers move to using SaaS applications, they still need to have that guarantee around SaaS, mm -hmm. right? around the actual, the data is protected, uh, they can perform that protection at high scale. The data is securely protected. Yeah. They can enable self. All the traditional benefits of data protection, we're bringing together to market directly with net backup SaaS, uh, net backup SaaS protection over, overall. So again, this is a solution we built uniquely on Azure. And one of the unique things about this solution is it can be deployed in the Veritas tenant where we fully manage it, or it could be a customer leveraging their sure. own Mac on their own customer tenant. Yeah. So maybe you want to talk about how customers typically look at working with you in terms of tenancy and, and that advantage. Yeah, and especially when we get into the co-sell discussion. I mean, you know, for those of you who out there who have your uh, a Microsoft Azure consumption commitment, or as we fondly refer to it as a Mac. A Mac, yeah. Right? The ability to click in the marketplace and leverage the solutions in your Mac to consume what you've committed to, I think it's critical. It makes it, it's a huge ease of use discussion um, on that. And, you know, and also take this back to our original conversation as to, you know, why Azure and why Veritas and why is it both together? I don't think we can understate the comment of being enterprise ready. Mm -hmm. 
right? There's plenty of SaaS providers out there who have these great new products coming out but leveraging the 30 plus years of experience. And if you want to do the combined, we make it sound really old, but <laughs> let's call us wise and experienced and knowing what Absolutely. we're doing in this environment to keep our customers safe. Um, you know, that enterprise readiness is critical. Well, and, and, and to your point, I mean, I think one of the biggest challenges we see is people adopting SaaS solutions around mm -hmm. cloud is that they don't really think that that protection is needed, right? And I right. think, you know, one of the things we highlight to customers jointly is this shared responsibility yeah. model, right? Don't assume. Don't yeah. assume, right? So you know, as we've demonstrated here on this slide, you know, Microsoft very clearly articulates the shared responsibility model in terms of your guarantees around providing uptime and guarantees on the infrastructure itself. Yep. But ultimately the data is the responsibility of the customer, right? Yeah, their responsibility. And by the way, how you design and support yourself in your cloud environment, what your landing zone looks like, designing for business continuity and disaster recovery, dealing with multiple data centers and regions. Like we have an amazing amount of regions and options for our customers to, to use, but thinking through that BCDR example and architecting your infrastructure for that is critical. And you know, we're, we're all here to support. And so you can, you know, when Simon was talking about, and you were talking about, hey, you can build it on our tenant, you know, with Veritas, mm -hmm. or you can go here, you can use your own. Thinking through these items and, and dealing with that joint responsibility is critical. Right. But you have these options. Right, exactly. Right? You have options, which is also critical because no one cookie cutter solution is going to work for you. Oh, absolutely. So, and Guaranteed. being able to have that flexibility to make good decisions around your data, well, I think we can provide that together. And as you say, we're uniquely solving together here for the largest of the large companies out there. They all have very unique requirements. I'm sure many of our audience represent those. So, we, so again, let me talk a little bit around why net backup SaaS protection. So one, as we said, we're really solving together this, the needs of the largest scale organizations out there. We truly are the petabyte scale solution when it comes to protection out there. Again, fully managed by Veritas together with Powered by Azure. Uh, petabyte scale, offering the lowest RTO and RPO. Number one, again, that flexible recovery that we've made our you know, secret source across yeah. all of our Veritas solutions, recovery at any level, single operation, ransomware protection, again, built in with all the technologies we've talked about earlier. And then again, that powerful search in terms of being able to get to the data when it's needed, you know, whether it's detecting from a discovery, recovery use case, or even you know, cloud cost, right? How do you help manage cloud cost to your point yeah. you made earlier? And then you know, the two pieces I really want to emphasize today, and, and there is a deeper session where we go into a bit more on net backup SaaS protection during other Conquer Every Cloud uh, sessions out there. So please, please do take advantage of that. But in particular, we talked about security, right? Mm -hmm. For, from a NSP net backup SaaS protection perspective, we define and, and deliver a single tenant for each of our customers, which means we can uniquely leverage the power of Azure, the security capabilities to lock down in that environment to that particular customer's policies and needs. And then secondarily, we already talked about customer hosted or Veritas hosted, but equally it can be hosted in any location. Again, because it's single tenant, we can pick on any Azure region that Microsoft yep. is available with and deploy into that or deploy into multiple regions overall. That hosting flexibility, again, yeah configuring to need is critical. Yeah, I think one of our philosophies um, from a Microsoft perspective that we all align really tightly on is we're here to meet you, the customer, where you're at, mm -hmm. right? I mean, you have some specific philosophies that you're building your IT strategy on, we can support it with this type of flexibility um, and also help guide you to the right thing should we see you heading off in a path that might not be best for, for you. We can Absolutely. have those conversations as well. So again, um, thank you very much. We, we just wanted to quickly wrap up. We kind of touched up on this yeah. point, but you know, I think one of the critical things is that all of these solutions are co-sell ready, ready and a number of them already transactable on marketplace. So not only are we bringing great technologies together and building key solutions around, uh, around ransomware protection and long-term storage, around archiving, discovery and compliance, and around SaaS protection, but we're also making that easy for customers and partners yeah. to purchase those solutions together from Microsoft and Veritas. Yeah, and look, if you're out there and, you, and you're talking to your procurement teams, if you have a Mac already, a Microsoft Azure consumption commitment, you see that checkbox and that marketplace transactions, you can go into the marketplace, click on it, start your migrations, and it consumes against your Mac. You've already budgeted for this solution. Love Let's it. go make it happen. Love it. Well, I couldn't have ended up just go make it happen. Well, thanks yeah. very much, Al. Really Simon. appreciate the time. Hey, thanks for having me, and th thanks for engaging with us. We really appreciate uh, all that you guys have done for us. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.